Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, the other day I posted a model of a thermos and uh, I was asked to do a video on it, okay? So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do the entire workflow. We're gonna model the low poly, we're gonna UV it, we're gonna detail it in ZBrush, and then we're gonna texture it in Substance Painter. Okay, here we go. Hey guys, well, as you can see, we're in Maya 2018, and uh, we're gonna do this uh, thermos that I did a couple of days ago, and people asked me to do a tutorial on it, okay? So we're gonna keep this uh, fairly low poly, and that said, let's get started, All right? So I'm gonna take a uh, polygon cylinder, hit R to scale that out and stretch that out. And I'm gonna hit Control A to go in. Let's set the subdivision level to 14. Like I said, pretty low poly, all right? I'm gonna jump into this view here. We are going to hit W to move it up. Right there. Let's see if we need to tweak the overall thickness. Let's hit R, scale it a little bit and then pull our reference in slightly, scale it a bit more, and then we're gonna right click at our vertex, drag select, W, bring that down, and I'm gonna do the same here, not with this guy, with this guy. All right, and there we go. We're gonna go to uh, Injured Edge Loop, Option Box, make sure we're at Single. And then we're gonna do one here, we'll do one here, we'll do one here, one there, and one there, one down here, and one more down here, and there we go. Cue on the keyboard. We're gonna right click, go to Face, we're gonna drag select these two, Control E to extrude, R to scale in, and there you have it. And then we're gonna right click at a vertex, drag select the top, hit W, pull that up, like so. And then we're gonna go in, right click at face, drag select this row right here, Control E to extrude, 0 0.3 on the thickness, which looks okay, yeah. And then on the bottom here, Drag select, control E to extrude, R to scale in, do something like that. All right, now let's have a look at the bottom here. I'm gonna go in, uh, let's see what we got. I'm gonna go into injured edge loop again. We're gonna do one right here. And then I'm gonna hit Q on my keyboard and I'm gonna right click at a face and I'm gonna select these faces, hit shift period to increase that selection, control E to extrude and W to pull up, which will give that little edge there, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Now, um, that means that I need to take the bottom a little bit here, go to vertex, drag select, pull it down a bit and hit R to scale it in just so we got a little angle going on there, okay? I think that looks all right. And now, uh, let's see, I'm just checking to see if we've got any end guns. We've got some triangles here, but that's fine because it's gonna be a game prop. So it's gonna be triangulated anyway. And now we need to add some for those ribs, okay? So let's go in and set multiple, set that to two in injured edge loop and we'll do two, 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 two here, two, 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 not that last one, that one, yeah. And then we need a few individual ones to hold the shape. We'll do this first, okay? So I'm gonna jump to this view, and go in, right click at a face, I'm gonna drag, select this one, this one, this one, and this one, that's fine. And then we'll take this and this and this. And that's fine as well, okay? So we're gonna hit Control E to extrude. Let's do minus 0 0.3 on the thickness. That's maybe even a bit much, let's try 
0 0.2. Let's do a quick preview smooth. Object mode and hit three. And let's look at our top there. I think that looks fine. So we're gonna hit one to go back. I'm gonna go to insert edge loop once again. Now I'm gonna set it to single. And we're gonna go in and I'm gonna add one to the top to hold that shape. And we're gonna work our way down. So I want to have one here, one here, one here, definitely one here. Then we're gonna go down here. We're gonna hold this shape for the bottom of the cap. And there and there. And then down here, we'll have one here one here, one here, and one here. Q on a keyboard, right click object mode, three to preview smooth. Okay, so that's basically what that's gonna look like. We can hit one to go back. We're gonna tweak these panels here, okay? So I'm gonna go in one more time, and we're gonna insert two. Of course, it's set to one right now two and we're going to pull these apart hit R because we need to have those indents going on there okay so I'm going to hit Q on my keyboard I'm going to right click and I'm going to select every other face here all right we're going to hit control E to extrude let's do Minus 0 0.2 on the thickness, maybe a bit more than that. 0 0.3. Let's have a look. I want to go back. Control Z to go back. Control E. Minus 0 0.4, even. There we go. Okay. Now I'm uh, kind of liking that shape there. So uh, what you can do to hold it a little bit better if you want is to go in and set this to single. And then let's uh, put one in there and put one in there. Okay. All right, object mode three to preview smooth. That gives you kind of a hard edge if you think that edge is too hard, you can hit Control Z and go back, right? And then what you can do is uh, hit W, pull that one up a little bit, and then double click on that one, pull that one down a little bit. Hit Q on your keyboard to go to object mode and hit preview smooth. So it'll be rounded out a bit more, okay? I think this looks all right, so uh, happy with that. And then what we need to do is we need to create a seam. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go and hit one, and then I'm gonna go to hit mesh and smooth to actually smooth this, okay? Now, I'm not gonna go any higher than this on my low poly. This is actually already pretty high, but that's just me, right? Um, you can do it this way as well. I'm just gonna go with this level, okay? Alrighty, so uh, we need a seam. Now, what do we need the seam for? For this seam right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our grid. And let's see, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna start that here. And then we're gonna double click all the way down and we're going to go to uh, edit mesh and bevel and let's do 0 0.3 on that and that should already be enough but what we'll do is we'll right click go to face and i'm going to click on that one and then shift Come on. Kind of tricky with these small faces. That's one. And 
there you go. We're going to hit Control E and we'll do minus 0 0.1. Okay, so let's see if we'll notice that if we hit 3. Yes, we do. Perfect. Okay, so we hit 1 to go back. So let's see what else. We have our clamps and we have our handle. Okay, that's going to be positioned over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, polygon cube. Hit W. We're going to hit R. We're going to push that in. Push that out. So we have the basic shape. Then we're going to go in and uh, take that again. We're going to set it to twos. Two, 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 and two. Q and a keyboard. We're going to go in. In this view, have to zoom in. Right click vertex, drag select these. Hit R to push them down. Skip one row. Do it one more time. That looks about right. And then we're going to take these two edges, so this one and this one, and we're going to go to Edit Mesh and Bevel, okay? Which will give us this. All right. We're going to go to Face Mode. We're going to select the whole thing, click and shift, double click. We're going to hit Control E to extrude, and W to push forward which will give us something like this, right? And then when we hit three to preview smooth, we'll get that. So we'll go hit one to go back. Um, let's go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it. And then we're gonna go in to deform. And what I wanna do is do it in, in position first. So let's see, we're gonna hit W. We're gonna move this guy. You can hold down X to snap it, pull it out here, hit R to scale it way down, W to move that in. Let's have a look, let's bring that up, scale it way down. Okay, and we're just going to hit one here to uh, go back. You can see we've got a little bit of artifacting going on there because it's so low poly, but it is what it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit W, we're going to bring that in until we almost touch right there. Like that. And then we're going to go in to uh, deform, non-linear, and the bend. We're going to hit E to rotate our bend handle, flip it down like so. And then we're gonna need to rotate it again. So hold down J and flip it like that. And then we're gonna go into our bend handle. And you can see that I'm not exactly at 90. So this should be 90. Yep. And then we're gonna go to our bend handle. And let's bring that in until it's hugging our thermos. I think this looks fine. Okay. So we're going to select it, we're going to go to Edit, Delete by Type, History, so it's all clear to copy. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate it, hit W to push it down, and F to zoom in. Okay, so that's going to be our other end. All right, so now that we have that, we need to create these handles. Now what we're going to do there is we're going to use a polygon cube, pull it out, R to scale, make it very thin, not that thin, something like that. And then we're going to go in, and I'm just going to hide our reference image for a second here. So we're going to take this guy, we're going to hit W, we're going to push it up till about there. Uh, let me see, actually to about there, pull it over to about here, and then we're gonna right click and go to vertex, 
and do the same here. Okay, then we're gonna go to insert edge loop, which I think is still at two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and I'm gonna hit R, and I'm gonna stretch it out almost to the end. And I'm gonna hit F to zoom in. Right click at a face, select that one. Shift select that one. Control E to extrude. W to pull out. Like so. Let's have a look from this angle how far that should go. Not too far. Approximately there. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Injured Edge Loop again. And we're going to do a manual setting. And let's do one on top. Try to keep that as square as possible. Q on a keyboard, face, select that one, shift, select that one, control E, and R to scale out. And we're going to select this guy, we're going to hit W, we're going to push it in. Have to zoom in. Let's hit 3 to preview smooth. 1 to go back. So we need to do a couple of things. We need to pull it out a bit. We need to go in to um, injured edge loop again. Let's go to object mode, hit W, move it out. Okay, so we're gonna do one here, and we're gonna do one here, one here. keyboard object mode 3 to preview smooth which is much much better okay let's have a go and hit W to move that in F to zoom in looks all right we're going to select it, Control D to duplicate, W to move over, E to rotate, hold on J. W to move that in. And there you go. Now that's uh, basically our thermos. So a couple of things we need to do here. We're going to drag select, we're going to go to edit, delete by type history, we're going to go to modify freeze transformation, we're going to go to modify and center pivot. Um, we are also going to go to mesh combine and then go to modify and center pivot, which makes sense. And uh, this is going to be my low poly, right? So this is what I need to um, UV. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So um, what I'm gonna do here is go up to UV. We're gonna go to, um, let's see, cylindrical. Then we're gonna go to UV and UV editor. And let's see what we got. Well, as you can see, we got a lot, okay? Now, um, the way I wanna approach this is I'm gonna go in here and I'm actually going to separate it again. Sorry about that because I want these guys to be separate. So this is one piece, this is a piece, this is a piece, and then my handles, okay? So this guy, that's a projection I got so far. What I want is to uh, tweak how this is done, right? So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to UV shell, select all of it, and then I'm gonna go into modify, and I'm gonna go to uh, move and sew, uh, actually to cut sew, and then to move and sew. 
which will basically stitch everything together and get rid of those edges. I don't want that right now, right? Then I'm going to go in, I'm going to go to uh, Edge, and I'm going to go into my model here, and I'm going to double click on that, and I'm going to go over here, right click, uh, Cut, so I'm going to click on Cut, because that's where I want one of my edges to be, right? Then we're going to go back to, uh, to the bottom here, and let's do that on the bottom as well. Doesn't really matter where I do that. Let's do that right here. Double click, and I'm going to go to uh, cut again. All right? We'll do one more. Let's do here. G to repeat. We'll do here. G to repeat, and then I'm going to take these. And I'm going to hit the G to repeat as well. And that should get that covered for the most part. So let me see. We're going to go to UV shell, drag select everything, and go to modify and unfold. And then we're going to go to UV shell, right click, modify, and we're going to go to layout, which will position that in there. And we're going to tweak that in a sec. So let's see, we've got some bits and bobs down there, that's fine. And this guy needs to be stitched, it looks like. Let's see, what is that? So this is basically the outer shell as intended. This guy is what? Okay, that's the bottom, that's fine. So we can go to, yeah, that looks all right. And for the purpose of what we're doing here, this should be fine, okay? Then we're gonna select this guy here. So we're gonna go to object mode and let's uh, cut that as well. So I'm gonna right click at an edge. Click on that. I'm gonna right click, go to cut do the same down here. Go to edge. We're gonna hit G to repeat that. Then we're gonna go to UV shell, drag select, right click, go to modify, unfold, drag select in UV shell, right click modify and layout. All right, and then we got these guys here. Okay, so we're gonna right click at object mode. And for those guys, I am going to right to click, go to edge, double click one of those edges, right click, go to cut. And then right click, go to shell, drag select, go to modify and unfold right click modify and layout that's not clean enough just yet as you can see so what i'm going to do is go to object mode hit h to hide it hide it hide it look at this guy so let's see we're going to go to edge we're going to double click on that we're going to right click and go to cut we're gonna go down here. I'm not quite sure why that happened. Let's just follow that line just to make sure. Okay, we're gonna go and cut that. Let's try this again. We're gonna go to unfold much better. And then let's see which edge we got here.
All right, so now we need to um, UV these little handles here. So I'm going to select one of these guys, go to UV and automatic projection, and then UV and UV editor. Let's have a look. Now, I'm not too worried about that, so I'm actually going to leave that as is. It's pretty straightforward. Um, same here. So what I'm going to do is take these guys and um, hit Control G. Right click at EV shell, drag select, go to layout, looks right. And uh, yeah, what we're going to do next is we are going to take the whole thing. And let's go and right click, go to UV shell, drag click everything. And one more time, we're going to go to unfold and we're going to go to layout. All right, so uh, let's see. We are in object mode. Now I need to uh, create the color ID for this guy, okay? So I want a material on the top here. So I'm gonna go to face. I'll just do that here. And I'm just gonna drag select the portion of it in face mode. And I'll hit four so you can see it. And then we're gonna hit shift period to work down that selection. I'll hit five so we can see it okay. Hit Control Z once. There you go. We're gonna right click assign new material. Let's go with uh, any old Lambert. And we'll just make this a random color. Then I want the same for the bottom down here. So I'm gonna right click at a face. And I'm gonna hit Shift period to increase that selection. One more time, I think. Yep. We're going to right click assign new material. We'll do another Lambert. We'll go in and I don't know, make that blue or whatnot. Then we have the main body, which is gray. That's fine. And then we got this guy and this guy. Assign new material, another Lambert. And we'll do light blue. And then we got these guys. Assign new material, Lambert and we'll do yellow okay so we've got a color id on this we're going to drag click the whole thing we're going to go to mesh and uh, combine and then we're going to go to edit and delete by type history modify freeze transformation modify center pivot we're going to go to file and we're going to go to export selection and we'll go to our desktop i'll call this uh, new folder thermos Hut. We'll go in and I'll call this color ID low poly. All right, let's uh, export that. So our low poly is ready to go. Let's get rid of that. We're going to go into ZBrush. Hang on. Okay, guys, we're in ZBrush. We're going to go to import and on the desktop, I'm going to go to Thermos tutorial. There is my low poly. I'm going to hold down shift, left click and drag, oh, hang on, there you go, we've got some uh, triangles on top there, that's why it's saying that, so we're going to pull that out and hold shift, we're going to click on edit and we're going to click on make poly mesh 3D, okay, so this guy is now ready to go. Now I want to have more subdivision levels so I can sculpt it, so I'm going to hit control D to increase that level and we're at 300 now we're at 1.3 million and now we're at 5 million which is fine okay and you can see that up here all right so what we're going to do is first of all hit uh, p for for perspective mode and then i'm going to go in i'm going to take a brush and i'm going to use my trim dynamic brush so i'm going to hit t trim dynamic and let's see we're just going to go in and that's a bit much right click 
bring that down a bit. We're basically going to go in and kind of ding this up a little bit. It's a, it's an aluminum thermos. It's been banged, dinged. It's not supposed to be this neat and tidy, right? So we're just going to ding that up a bit. Now keep in mind that this part of the process takes hours. I don't want you to have to look at me doing this for hours. So I'm just going to give you an idea, okay? And um, just keep that in mind, right? So we've got some things going on here. Like I said, please, please, please take your time. We're going to go in, we're going to grab an alpha. We'll take these scratches right here. We're going to right click and increase the brush size. That's a bit much. So we're going to bring down the intensity. And we're just banging it up a little, right? So I'm just trying to make it look slightly less new, if you will. You get it, right? Okay. Maybe some under bracket here. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Okay, so let's say that we spend a couple of hours on this, making it nice and being very accurate and everything, and we're happy with it, right? So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go up to uh, export, and we're gonna call this high poly thermos. And let's save that out. Okay, it's time to jump into Substance Painter. Here we go. Hey right, guys, here we are. So we're going to go to file, we're going to go to new and we're going to go in and select our low poly, right? Now uh, I did some testing on this, so make sure we've got the right one. So there we go. There is my uh, low poly. Let's uh, open that up. And uh, let's see, I'm going to set this to 4K size, it's fine, I'm going to hit OK. And there you go, there's our low poly. All right, so now we can bake our initial textures. We're gonna to go to Bake Textures, and I'm gonna set this to 4K map size as well. Uh, down here, we can click on this folder and select our high poly right there. Everything else I'm gonna leave alone. I'm just gonna turn off this ID right here, and we're gonna bake all texture sets. Right guys, well all the maps have been baked as you can see and uh, all the dents and dings have been uh, put on our low poly as well uh, through the normal map that has been baked. Like I said, I did it really, really quick but you should uh, take your time doing that. So now that we have that, we have a number of things that we can shoot from. This is our main body. This is our top. We got our, I think that's the bottom there. Um, and our brackets okay so let's apply some materials so let's start with our top we're gonna make sure that layer is selected we're gonna go to materials let's look for aluminum and there we go and we're gonna drag and drop okay now that is quite shiny uh, so let's uh, bump that roughness up a little bit and uh, maybe that's too much or maybe we even need to use a different material okay uh, let's see if we can tweak it a little bit from this end this is the metallic look if you will let's see what we can get and eh, this is getting better not crazy about it so let's not do that 
Let's try something else. Uh, let's see, maybe in our smart materials. We have an aluminum there as well. Let's bring that in. And that immediately looks a lot better. Okay, we'll leave that one at default. Then let's see what else. We have our bottom there. I think the same material is appropriate for that. So that's this guy, select it, drag and drop. And again, the same principle applies here. Take your time, okay? For the tutorial uh, purpose, I'm speeding this up quite a bit. Normally you wouldn't do that, okay? So we got our brackets here. Let's look for something like steel. Steel dark, that would work. Let's bring that in. Let's give that a second. There you have it. And then for our grips as well, and we'll make sure that they're selected. Bring that in. And there you go. And then we have our main body. Now for that, I'm gonna go with steel painted. Let's make sure we got that one selected. We're gonna drag that in. All right, and then we can go in here and we can go into the, um, the color and let's we get something that looks like a thermos. And again, that's totally up to you, you know, what kind of color you choose. But uh, that is basically it. So what you can do next, if you like, is with that base um, body selected, you can go in there and, for example, create a new layer go in uh, we'll take a brush that's quite large the flow will push back a little so the paint will be too dark scrub down a bit instead of white we're going to select black and you can basically just go in and kind of grunge that up a little bit right so just uh, put some paint on it and you can see that it's it's already pretty dark Okay, we'll do a little bit down here as well, and I'll decrease that flow a bit. Just to make it look more worn. And you can go into these edges here. You get the idea, right? Same here. And then you can go in and take some grunge here, for example, and uh, just bump up that size a bit. Just go with really rough. Let's go in and change that color maybe. Uh, let's see, where am I? Oh, I'm actually on my alpha. Let's do, uh, let's see, we'll do a new layer. And I'll change this black to, I don't know, maybe a bit brownish. I wouldn't say red, brown, maybe. And you can just keep on playing with that until you're happy, right? So let's say you have all that done. You're happy with your end result. You can go up to uh, view. We're gonna go to, uh, actually to mode, we'll go to render mode. I think I got it. Yeah, I did. Let's give that a second. So there it is. And what you can do is go in here and instead of our, uh, let's see, where is it? Our dome. You can go in and select the clear color as a background. You can tweak all the settings to your liking and when you're completely happy, 
you uh, click on done and you save out your render okay so the save render button is right here you can change backgrounds you can go into this guy right here let's say this is the one you like you can actually even rotate that environment to change the light direction on your model something like this and once you're happy you have it render out and when it says render done you save it out okay so uh, yeah I did this uh, as quick as possible uh, again keep in mind that you need to take your time right so hopefully you learned something from this video uh, if you did please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for future videos all right well thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time bye well thanks for watching and before you go please hit that mh button to subscribe okay see you guys next time bye